On this week's boiler tip, we're gonna take a look at timed low fire holds. There's a couple reasons we might want a timed low fire hold in addition to a pressure or temperature low fire hold. Traditionally, if we want a boiler to stay in low fire hold because the boiler's cold, we may add a pressure or temperature switch in the firing rate circuit. Now this is a simplified circuit. It doesn't show the flame safeguard control component, but essentially on pressure rise, we'll allow the connectivity of the B side of the firing rate circuit to allow it to come out of low fire. Now, if I've got a boiler that cycles a lot and I wanna prevent it from going to high fire or out of low fire for a duration, it's simple to add that to our firing rate limit circuit. Essentially, we just add an additional contact via relay and we can come off the flame safeguard control to the coil for that relay. So we've got a time delay relay down here and when our flame safeguard energizes our gas valve, then we'll have a delay here, um, two minutes, five minutes, whatever that duration is to prevent it from coming out of low fire. So that's going to inhibit its tendency to short cycle. Now, if you've got a boiler that never comes out of low fire because we can't build pressure, even though we're generating steam, it may actually be simplest to add a temperature-based low fire hold. So if instead of a pressure type low fire hold, we use a temper, temperature one, we can verify that the boiler's at or above boiling temperature and allow it to come out of low fire hold. So there's a couple options on how we can play with that. And it's really useful um, because we have to remember that we can protect our boiler in a way that uh, keeps it in good condition, but still doesn't prevent us from accomplishing our, our goal of eventually coming out of low fire.